Hi everybody, welcome back to the Gigi and Ollie show. Sorry if my voice is a little crazy again. I got sick again, but I wanted to get this Dollar Tree haul out. Um, Christopher got released from the hospital Tuesday. Then he went home from here Sunday. And there's no change in mom. She's still sick and battling everything. But she has went through her bout of medication, so I don't know what the next step is. Dad just got released from the hospital. He just got home. And we are leaving Monday to go see him. I get to go spend two weeks with him. I'm so happy. And I do plan on doing videos while I'm down there. I like to be able to get a video of us driving up the mountain to his house. Oh, my God. I mean, it would be a mess, but it would be comical for you guys. As long as there's not a bunch of cussing, which there normally is. But I'll try. Um, this is from the Washington, Illinois. Yeah, Washington, Illinois. Dollar Tree. We went there when I got dropped off there when Christopher went home. And then I went back. I went yesterday for my checkup from the pneumonia and found I knew I wasn't feeling good. I felt good for a few days, but now I have another sinus infection and um, ear infections in both ears. Still haven't got my medication. Kroger just got a hold of me. It is now ready. Thank God. So, that's, Jason's getting that right now. I'm going to bring it to me when he gets off work in a little bit. Because Nick's on another 16-hour shift. He wasn't able to grab it for me. But yesterday when I left the doctor, I had to run in Dollar General and just grab four bare necessities. Didn't want to go in anywhere, but I had no choice. I just have to show you guys this receipt. I was in total shock. Because I really couldn't see the prices, but when I got up there, I was, oh my god... And it was a young kid, and I'm not in a good mood as it is, because I don't feel good. And I'm like, oh my god, this is ridiculous. He has no clue what I'm talking about, you could tell. He probably don't have to buy groceries. But I just left it at that. I'm not going to complain much, but I bought one gallon of milk, a dozen eggs, a pound of butter, and two boxes of the Jiffy Cornbread Mix. I'm just going to hold it up for you guys. I want you guys to see this with your own eyes. This is in my small hometown of about 7,000 people. So this is a little Midwest town, not a big city. And I always thought Dollar General prices were supposed to be cheaper, which right now they might be because I haven't been in a grocery store. Um, my, You know, you, you guys all know my sister has um, sent, gets my groceries picked up or delivered, whatever, from Walmart. Because they've been a lot cheaper in Kroger lately. Look at the prices on that. Okay. Everybody take that in. <laughs> I am disgusted. It was like half that. The first of the year. So, let's get into this haul. I finally found... And everything I got, a, like, chew and stuff of, some, if it's not for me, which I'm not going to go into all that, I'm going to be doing a lot of it's for our upcoming giveaway. And then the other is for, like, stocking stuffers, or gift bags is what I'm doing. Well, I haven't decided if I'm going to do stockings for everybody. I want to do the reusable gift bags, but I'm not sure yet. Reusable gift bags and gift cards. I'm going to decide, but I'm going to do all the bags with you guys. And I got... Um, Ali and Jack's presents ordered. They should be here any day now. Probably tomorrow, I believe. I will be showing those to you guys. I am so excited with what I got the boys each. And Ali will be here Friday. He doesn't know it yet. He thinks he's only staying Friday. But we're tricking him. And he's going to stay two nights. Because I'm going to be leaving Monday. And I haven't been away from Ali that long since he was born. So I'm going to, I didn't get to get him last weekend. I get him every weekend, which you all know. But I didn't get to get him last weekend because Christopher was sick and here in the, in the hospital and stuff. So, um, yeah, we, Ollie's going to stay all weekend, but he don't know it yet. We have, we're going to be doing, yes, our Halloween treats. <laughs> um, we've got all kinds of arts and crafts to do. And hopefully he gets to go shopping with his birthday money. 
Fingers crossed. I found the charcoal. Yes, two face wipes. These are so squishy. I love the way they feel. Nothing compared to the other ones. I've my collagen ones. I've never used these, but I've heard nothing but good about them. So two of these. I love anything and everything coconut. I never met a coconut item I did not like, whether I am eating it, drinking it, or putting it on my body, or spraying it, or burning it. Anything coconut. I found the Yes To Coconut Wipes. And I have, well, I really can't smell that well, but we're going to try. Mmm, they smell. Oh, gosh, I wish I could get inside there. Oh, <laughs> they smell good. Oh, I love coconut. Oh, it smells so good and sweet. And I went a little crazy with the blind bags. Because I think I'm done shopping for the boys, though. I know Baby Jack needs one more thing. And they both got a major gift and then some odds and ends. I did accidentally order Oliver something last night online. Accidentally. So now I have to get Baby Jack another thing. Which I'm not sure what I'm going to get him yet. But I've seen so many blind bags. And, but I cannot, Marina had told me about zombie ones. Ollie loves zombies. I cannot find zombie blind bags anywhere. But, I found the Fab Five. I'm just going to put all these in a gift bag for Ollie when he does his Christmas. So we got in the Fab Five, and there's five items in here. And I'm, he's, I'm going to have him do these. He won't be here on Christmas, but well, at least he never has been. He's normally with his mother on that day. So, when he comes here on Christmas, we normally do our own little private Christmas together. So, I will, um, I'm sure he'll be doing a video showing all of his gifts and doing all the blind bags. So, I want to do that. I don't know if this is for girls. I don't think so. If he doesn't want it, I know he'll give it to me. Wishkins. Yeah, they have, like, display after display after display of blind bags. And I tried to get one or more of every one. I found, oh, I didn't know I got another one of these. Another Fab Five. And this is the first Dollar Tree I've ever been in. I did not have to take my hoodie off, and I was not breaking into a menopausal sweat until Panic Attack City, until I got up in line, or I'm sorry, the last line, and it, the heat hit me. Up until then, I couldn't get over how cold, cold it was in there, and I loved it. Because I don't know about you guys, but our Dollar Trees, I mean... I feel like I'm melting. Literally, my face it looks like I've been crying. Eyeliner just melting down my face. Like I'm in a horror movie. It looks neat, but not when you're out shopping. And, um, and I'm wiping myself all over and makeup smeared. <laughs> and I look like a, like my doctor says, I'm a hot mess. So, anyway, and they were packed. I mean, I, they were too busy for me. I couldn't go up aisles, I'd wait, and it's too overwhelming and busy for me. I found two of the Ninja Turtles. I don't know how many, I think it says 30 plus to collect. There wasn't many of these. I grabbed two. I don't even know if they're different. I grabbed the blue package, and I grabbed the purple package. Reminds me of my boys, they love Ninja Turtles. And Ollie has a bunch of them from when Christopher, oh, there's another one, an orange one. Ninja Turtles. He has a bunch of those from when Christopher was little. These show what they are on the front. I learned that from one of the ladies that hauled them. I can't remember who hauled them. I'm sure it was Marina because she does. Because Chi Town Girl does blind bags, but she hasn't been on there in a while. I hope all's well with her. But Marina might have showed these. I found him SpongeBob. Squidward. My favorite, Patrick. I think he is so adorbs. <laughs> he is so cute. And one more at Ryan's World. Oh, does it show who it is in it? Oh, no. 
he would have wanted a different one. Oh, well. Uh, maybe that's showing who's in it. I thought it was a blind bag. But why would it be showing that cat? And there's all the choices on the back. And that's showing the cat on the front. I'm not even going to voice my opinion on this. I'm just going to say it's Ryan's World. Oh, yeah, there's the three. Uh, so I got all three of those. Sorry, I didn't realize they were on the back. Let's see. I'll show you the... Well, there's the back of the Ninja Turtle. The backs of the Ninja Turtles are all the same. The Fab Five are just the same on both sides. Fab Five, Fab Five. Wishkins, nothing on the back, but, you know, information. Fab Five, Fab Five on the back. I'm saving these little blind things for last. Grab my sister need a big bow for her present she got for Baby Jack. So I grabbed a great big red bow for her while I was out. I finally found a can of the pure, 100% pure pumpkin. So I want to get that, have it here for Petey to give him some of it once in a while. This is not a good bargain, but I was, I'm completely out of coffee creamer and I lose my mind. I don't know how my whole life, and I do know, I shouldn't say that. <coughs> Excuse me. Everybody says, why don't you use milk and sugar like you did your whole life? Because I started drinking coffee with my grandma and grandpa when I was um, probably three years old. Seriously. It was mostly milk and sugar, of course. And then I was thinking recently, I tried when I was out of creamer. You can't get that to dissolve in uh, iced coffee. And I, it's like I don't even really drink warm coffee anymore. It's always iced coffee, no matter what the weather is. So for the first time ever, I seen this. It's a little baby carton, like of the milks. And it's from that same brand, I believe, Modern Pantry. And this is French, it's little, it's cute. They had this and hazelnut. I was gonna get them both, but I thought I better just get one and see how I like it. I've never seen it at any other locations, but it is the French Vanilla Coffee Creamer. And I have not tried it yet. I'm going to though, in a little bit, I am sure. I know people have found these forever. I found them for the first time. This is going in a gift for Christmas. I found the um, two, the clear coffee mugs. They are so big, I love them. These are not mine, these are for someone else. So I grabbed two of those. They're good and heavy. And the, they can go in the microwave and everything that claims. The Lysol toilet bowl cleaner. I was looking for something else. Like the ones that stick in the toilet and stuff, they were the boxes were empty. Another box of my black, or box, another can of my black olives. Two cans of the cherry pie filling because I think these are smaller cans. But even both of these together are cheaper than the one bigger can. I think they're, they just look smaller to me, but not by much. Anyway, it's cheaper to get two of these and have some extra than go buy the one at the Kroger or wherever you guys go. When I did my math. Two more cans of the Campbell's Classic Chicken Noodle Soup. We did like the, well I haven't had it yet. But Nick and Jason did like the Campbell's Zesty Tomato with Dumplings. I didn't know. They didn't have it there. When I was there, I would have grabbed more. They did like it. And then, oh, I found another Thane Nail Glue. Yes, I swear by Kiss Nail Glue, but this is working fine. And if I can get this for a dollar and a quarter, as long as I can find it, I'm going to buy one or two when I see them, and I'm going to use it. Because right now, everything is adding up. And nothing is going down. We were lied to. Oh, I'm so flustered. Um, I grabbed another foot mask because I can't remember if I got my mom one or not. I know I got her a hand mask, and I keep forgetting to ask her. She's, we really, we're not even really talking on the phone normal at this point. Me and my sister were talking about that last night. Me and my sister and my mom. Because it's just me and my sister. We're the only two kids. We all talk daily. I mean, countless times. Mom don't text, but we are on the phone with her to where she's like, oh my God, I just got the phone. And we're always on the phone, me, mom, or Julie. And me and my sister 
from the time she's done teaching till Lord knows when, we are texting nonstop and talking on the phone. That's what we do. We're all so close. And me and Julie said last night, this is so weird. We haven't talked to mom like we normally do. We don't want to bother her. We want her to get better and get rest. But we, of course, talk to her once or twice a day. Whereas normally it's five or seven times a day. I mean, there's times I've called her four times in an hour because I want to tell her something or I forgot to tell her something. I don't think I found these last time. These are the cucumber. Yes, two masks. And I got two, so you guys know why. These will be going in a giveaway. Well, I mean, I'll probably keep one. One will be a gift. One will be going in a giveaway, definitely. This says Magnetic Activity Set. I'm not sure. I just thought it was a cute little tin with those LOL girls. My sister can't stand these girls. She calls them bad names. <laughs> but I think they're adorable. But that's everything that comes in it. You guys can see that. And they were all the same, so I just grabbed the one. At least the other ones are all the same. Now these I'm confused about, and maybe somebody can help me. I don't feel like screenshotting and all this crap today. Now, every time I get one of these packages for Ollie and I, it will show how it looks on here because he likes following it sometimes. Sometimes he wants to do completely different. You guys know, sometimes he wants to match it and be exact. Those are stockings on there, though. I went through them all, but there's no stockings. Unless we have to put this stuff on stockings. Maybe you guys can tell me. that I can't see that. So I got this one. And then I thought, well, maybe there's little stockings in there. There's not. That one's it. And I thought, well, maybe it's a typo. I don't know. A misprint. Because all the other ones, like the gingerbread boy, has a gingerbread boy here, the Christmas. You know, they all have the stuff. But it comes with three packages of something, which is going to require glue. There was no glue sticks, not a glue stick in the store, because I think Tiffany from Tiffany's Passions, go check her out. She is amazing. I She suggested I use glue sticks, and I thought, yeah, I haven't tried glue sticks. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. Um, there is There wasn't any. And I was not purchasing the same crap I had because... I mean, his poor little gingerbread boy is laying on the counter right now with pieces everywhere. The one he's dead. I've got to get fixed before he gets here. I do have tacky glue. I can't get it to come out, though. What is with me and glue? And then this one comes with three, including a little gingerbread boy. This one comes with a little reindeer. But I don't know what we do with them. And then the third one, I grabbed all the different ones I've seen. Not knowing what I was even getting. Joy with all the little decorations. One with a little wreath, I believe. And then one with a little Christmas tree. But I thought that's a good deal for all these little felt pieces and shinies. But I don't know what we're doing with them. This is going to be hell. But I couldn't pass it up because it was so cute. I don't know how many it makes. We will only be making one, I hope. And there are so many pieces, and it's going to require so much glue. But he's so cute. And I couldn't see any other ones. All I could find was the reindeer. But look at all those pieces. Oh, my God, I think it says 30. I don't care. He's cute. I just got If anybody knows any glue that will work good with felt... Or pom-poms? One of you crafty ladies or men have to know. Please tell me. Because you've all seen, I am a poor glue person and I need some help here. Just please refer me to what kind of glue, where I need to get it, who has it, so I can get a few bottles. I think these are black. I can't tell, but I, gr I always have to grab two. I normally do the kiss nails, but I really like those. I've seen that cheetah print and I think they're black they're dark I like them so I got two of those I did get um, two more of these to take down to dad because I figured out there's 160 in here you take two a day so that's 80 it's 80 days worth I'll take them probably about three. I'll ask them. I'll take the four, or I have six bottles. 
But I have two. I haven't been able to see Mom. Two for my stepdad, and then I'm going to... I haven't seen Nick. But I'm going to take some down there and ask Dad how many he wants. They had six left. Or four left. I grabbed two. Once again, I can't believe they're Centrum men's vitamins. For immune system. You ain't getting those for a dollar and a quarter nowhere else. Very interesting. I grabbed two more of these. These will be going in giveaways and um, gift bags also. Excuse me. Gosh, my throat. But right next to it, well, right below it, I should say. I should have took a picture. But they were so busy. They had these separate. Out of the box. These were all in a little holder. For a dollar and a quarter each. Yet, if you look, take the time to look up, and you know what you're looking for, I guess I should say. Go back in there. You get the pack of six for a buck and a quarter. <coughs> and I could tell they were being bought, the singles, because the whole thing, the holder, they're in more full. And I just want to put a sign there with an arrow pointing up. Because I feel bad. I found these at checkout, and I've never seen these, and I absolutely loved it. Hardback, um, little notepad, notebook. Tie-dyed pink, it says love. I love that. Just the regular notebook paper. You guys know I love notebooks. And I found this one at the front, too, and I loved it. The little heart with the little hands. This is just a paper notebook, no hardback. And with the regular lined paper. Didn't have my puffs, had to get a box of Scotties. Oh my goodness, when Christopher was here, I'm not kidding, he went through four boxes, all my puffs. Had to go get two more boxes while I was here. He took two open boxes, because he had one in the kitchen, one on the couch. He took those home, and then I realized, oh my god, I don't have any Kleenexes left. And he wanted more. Well, they didn't have any. It was bare there at his location by his house. So I just grabbed one of the Scotties to bring home. Um, red and green sprinkles. for. I'm sure I have them already, but I've seen them and grabbed them. Um, sprinkle. I'm positive. I probably have 15 things of them. But red and green sprinkles for me and Ollie do our Christmas treats. I finally found these. As you can see, I got two. Um, two of the little holders that you put over your seat to hold your bags in the back or purse, what have you. Um, I got both rainbows. But they had rainbows, stars, and pink hearts. And lemons. Because I looked and looked for pineapple. Because Hannah loves pineapple and I couldn't find a pineapple. Because I thought they have lemons and they have pineapple, but I didn't see them. Uh... I haven't seen this in a long time either. My yellow rice. I love it. I'm so glad they had it. I love this yellow rice. You guys need to try it. It's amazing. All the seasonings and everything's in it. It's not spicy or anything. And stocked up on the candy. Yuck. Baby Ruth. Three Musketeers and Butterfingers, which is Christopher's favorite. Ollie, li well, I think uh, well, Ollie likes these too. I'll be like, this is, this is delicious, Cheech. <laughs> He's so fresh. I found these. He, this is a nice little surprise for him. Jet Puffed. So they're the name brand. I can only imagine what these go for in the store. Especially with the packaging like this. Um, look like chocolate marshmallows. I don't know why I only got one bag, but I did. I grabbed one. And look at him on the back. Or is that a... Did they have faces? Was that a snowman? I don't know, but he's cute. <laughs> and I didn't get any, but I sh noticed. I was looking at all the Sour Patch... See if they had any new Sour Patch stuff or trolleys, whatever it's called. The bags are now... Half that. I hadn't noticed it in any other ones. This whole store had all new bags. They're half the size of the regular ones. 
They are half the like here's the full size of Ditto Honey. They are half the size now. I did notice that. They're about that tall. I did notice that. So a big change. But I like Bido Honey and I haven't had it in a while. I don't see it that often. I got the Wild Berry Martha White Muffins. Ollie likes these, so I will be making those too. And of course, my Twizzlers, Licorice Bites, Nibs, whatever you want to call them. And then, which Ollie will also tell you is his favorite, and Christopher, the Flips White Fudge Nestle Pretzels. Now, I always find these, of course, but I normally find, once in a while, I've only found them twice, actually, the white stuffed peanut butter ones. They're white chocolate, though. Well, this time... They didn't have no white stuffed ones. I found these ones. I've never seen these before. So that's new. Oh, it says new right on it. But this is really is a new product. So that. And I know these have been around for years, but I've never seen them there. This is a full bag. Um, I always only see the white ones. I found milk chocolate ones. So that was new to me to find. I mean, I know they make them and I've seen them everywhere else. I've never seen them at Walg Walgreens. What the hell? Dollar Tree. What the hell made me say Walgreens? When is the last time I've been thinking about Walgreens? I have no idea why I said Walgreens. Crazy. Pretzels. I ran out of pretzels. I never run out of pretzels. I grabbed these. It was the easiest to get to. And this is a great price. If you can, When you get the Snyder's, it's like you're robbing a bank at Dollar Tree because I guarantee, well, these are always outrageous at the store and I can only imagine what they are now. Oh my God, I bet they're four or five bucks here. The sourdough nuggets. And then I had to grab a couple gift bags for my sista. So she wanted the brown paper looking ones. Santa Claus. Couldn't find them. So she's going to have to, if she don't want them, then I'll use them. I'm sure she'll use them now. The little glittery snowman. Because he's cute. I, see, I... My favorite thing are snowmen. But they didn't have any Santas that she would have liked. I really didn't see many Santas. They were picked over there. It's like they had tons of boxes of stuff they hadn't sent out yet, actually, too. And then she wanted the um, aged brown paper looking one. Because that's what she'd gotten for everybody. Because she's done shopping. Whatever. She's been done. She... Now she's doing a little extra splurging. Oh, she's been done for months. But then, um, I couldn't... They didn't have any of the brown paper older ones, so I found this one. I liked it with the Christmas lights. And what's on the side of this? Snowflakes. On the side. And then there's glitter on the one side. And then the little tag, it says Joy. He is cute, though. So many of these could be framed. I'm serious. They could put these in pictures and they would fly up the... Or magnets. They would fly up the... Sh I mean, not this big of a magnet. But if they shrunk up... If they did them... Wow. This size of this picture a little bigger and did magnets of them. People go crazy for them. Or pictures. Or plates. Napkins. They need to do all that to match the bags. Do you hear me? I'm going crazy. I don't feel good. And then this is with the Christmas lights, but it is the other paper, not the shiny stuff, so I thought she might like it. It's all the way around on both, all sides. So, I got her those. Last year, I finally found the sign. It said, like, um, I haven't got it out yet. If snowflakes were kisses, I'd give you a blizzard, or I'd put you in a snowstorm. I don't know what it said. But I love that. Now, like I said, snowmen are my thing. And I love Wizard of Oz. There's no place like home. So when I, there's no place like home. Remind me of Wizard of Oz. And then a snowman's on it. So I got him this year. I have been looking for him. He is so chubby and happy and cute. With his little mittens and blue scarf. And his little nose. And his little pipe. He's just chilling. Having a good old time. I wonder what's in that pipe, Frosty. 
some glitter, but it's not coming off. No, nope, not coming off at all. But I love it because he's so chubby. He's so cute. He's not a skinny snowman because we have seen skinny snowmen. This is sort of a joke. My sister takes like teaching and stuff. Well, I shouldn't say seriously because you should, but sometimes she takes it to the extreme. Like she thinks she's a teacher when she's not teaching. I think that's the word. I'm. Oh, my eye is watering so bad all of a sudden. Oh my goodness. Sorry, guys. Gosh. It's this cold. Or whatever the hell I got. Anyway, I'm not crying. Yet. <laughs> I've cried enough this week. Um, I'm not how to say it. She runs a tight ship. Let's put it that way. So I got her this. So she'll have it to point at stuff and explain herself outside of teaching hours with certain people. Probably me. But I knew she would think that was a funny little joke. And I seen it in the teaching section. I'm like, what is that? I've got to grab that for my sister. They had all different colors and little sticks. But I just thought it was cute. I'd never seen it before. I don't know. Then the last item, Merry Christmas. We've got the bear, the penguins, family, the Santa, the snowman, which I do not care for his nose, and the reindeer. And there that is. A floor mat, or floor mat, a rug. Well, that ain't a rug, but whatever. It's a throwaway, but I'll use it. Oh, I gotta sneeze now. Gosh, guys. Excuse me. Oh, my gosh. My eyes are watering. My nose. I could tell you guys such a funny story. Oh, my goodness. I was naughty when I was little. <laughs> I, um... I was not in a very good mood because we had had a blizzard. I must have been, me and my sister are five years apart. I'm older. So we'll say I was, I thought I was in kindergarten or first grade. I don't know. Julie was old enough to be, Mimi was old enough to be out in the snow with me and my dad. So we'll say she was two and we're four or five years apart varying on birthdays, of course. So we'll say I was five or six. I don't know. It doesn't matter. I was little. And there was a freezing blizzard outside, and I don't know what was going through my head, but I wanted my dad to make me a lawnmower out of snow. No clue where this ever came from in my head. And I was like having a meltdown. I really thought that man was going to build me a lawnmower, and I guess I thought I was going to push it. I don't know. I was a crazy... I was off. But we did make a snowman with a carrot, and I was so mad that he did not make me a, um, a lawnmower. So when he was in the house, and I got, the, I mean, there was a little bit of yard right there, so I was fine right there. Back then, you know, in the 70s, you could do that. But um, I took that carrot off that snowman's face and put it down here. Or wait, yes. And oh my god, my dad got mad as hell. <laughs> my dad can't leave that carrot down there on the bottom of that snowman where it shouldn't have been. I have no idea why I did that. I don't know what came over me or why I'd ever seen one to know to do that. But anyway, that was too much. But yeah, I did that. Gosh, I am sorry. My eyes are pouring water. Okay, I've got to, um, fight with these Kleenexes and get them open. I love the puff so much better. But everybody, I, uh, Ollie will be here Friday, so we will be doing videos. And we've got some stuff to send out. We are sending it out this week. I know, I did not know all this was going to happen. God, jeez. I did, uh... I didn't know all this was going to happen. And I know you're all very understanding. But it's getting out this week because I'm shipping everything before we leave Monday. <clears throat> and like I said, I'm going to um, hope to go shopping down there. And I hope to go to the Little Debbie store. Because um, that's where she's from, Chattanooga, Tennessee. And, I mean, the family knows her. 
People don't believe... Lil Debbie is a real, live person. She's not some little cartoon character in a box. She's legit. So, I'm going to go there. We can't, you can't go in a factory no more. My grandpa used to take me in a factory when I was little and, like, have... It was like they knew them so well. They'd be like, come on in. And we would... Um, there would be so many different things there. Little snack cakes that, that we didn't have here in Illinois. And it was just, oh, my goodness. And... But they do have a lot of different ones when we go to the big outlet store. And so much merchandise. I mean, clothes and knickknacks and office, you know, pens and magnets, everything, toys. But I like to do a video of that, and they have the most coolest Lil Debbie, um, like the first delivery truck, sitting out there, all redone, of course, restored. And it's neat. You can get in it, you can open the doors, and I need to take, some, or take a video of that to show you guys. But, um, yeah, Lil Debbie's real. My dad went to school with Lil Debbie, as a matter of fact. People tell me I'm crazy. No, she's a real woman. Um, my dad's wife actually has pictures of Lil Debbie's wedding. So, there. But if I have to prove, I will. Because I'm going down there, so I'll be able to see him. Anyway, we love you all. <laughs> um, everybody have a great night. Stay warm wherever you are. Or stay cool if you're somewhere else and you're hot. Um, be sure and keep your name out of the paper. I'm sorry I haven't been here in a few days, but you all understand all the craziness going on. And um, like, share, and subscribe. I hope you all enjoyed spending time with me. And I'm going to be getting set up. When we get back from seeing Dad, I'm going to be doing a great big giveaway. Unless I do them when I'm down there in Georgia, Tennessee. I say Georgia, Tennessee... Because they're right on top of each other, and we go from Chan, you get to Georgia, just like this, right across the road. So I go to both. And, um, I need to get some bitch. Oh, also, there's supposed to be like tons of, it's, I believe it's called, don't quote me, Rock City Christmas Lights, like, um, a big Christmas light show. If we do get to go to that and it is going on, I will be doing a video of that. I heard it's amazing, but I don't know any details of it. That's all I know is Rock City. I hear Rock City, I think, of Detroit and Kiss. That's a good movie. That's a real good movie. I haven't seen it in years. Okay, guys. God, my mind is just dooku today. I've missed you guys, though. Okay. Everybody, I don't know. Everybody be nice. I don't know what I was going to say. Everybody be nice to each other. But love you all, and I'll be back real soon. Bye-bye.